I'm David Larson. We're here at my uh, Bug Book Historical Microcomputer Museum in Floyd, Virginia. And we have our guest here today, Curtis Anderson, and we're delighted to have him visit and see what we're doing with our computers. And, uh, you know, we've had quite a tour of the museum, and I'd like to ask Curtis a few questions about, uh, number one, just his first uh, general reaction, just a general reaction. Sure. Well, my background is this. I uh, started reading the bug books one and two back in the uh, early uh, 1970s. And about 1980, Virginia Tech offered a course during the Christmas holiday season, a three-day seminar, and I went up there. And boy, I came back home, got involved with the bug books and the, with the training material on the 8088. And it all became history because I joined the faculty at the John Tyler Community College and the continuing ed department and we used the book books as training material we had many classes in succession and then they moved the program from continuing ed into their two-year engineering program at john tyler well we had kind of a parallel there in terms of teaching uh, microcomputers in early early days in the microcomputers a lot of fun we're still having fun teaching about the history of microcomputers. I would like to say it was really my treat to bump into David at a ham fest, realizing he was one of the co-authors of the book and his involvement with the little training modules. And I never thought in my wildest dreams after 20-some years that I'd uh, bump into him. And then it became history after that. He shared me his uh, thoughts about the museum, and we took a trip up here. And uh, Well, you know, you mentioned one thing there. I'm 75 years old, and... You know, a lot of people who were involved in those early computers, early microcomputers, uh, have passed on, and uh, they're passing away. We need to get their stories in writing as quick as we can. Exactly, and that's what we do in Richmond over the telephone industry, which is my line of work. But of course, the telephone and the computer is certainly parallel in technology. Well, here in our museum, we start from the very first computers on up to uh, probably in the late 80s. We don't get into the real modern computers, but the real interesting things were the you know, the Apple I, the Mark VIII, the Apple II, the Radio Shack, the PET computers. Any particular computers here that uh, seem more interesting than others? Well, what really caught my fancy is all of these computers I've seen in your museum today are up here in my memory bank. To come back and relive and see them in actuality as I remember them is really a treat. Well, you know, I find out from a lot of people just coming to see them in person. I've had a lot of people come in and say, well, I've heard about that, but I've never seen it. And uh, so that's just a great, well, we're going to be expanding our, our museum. We hope to work with you somehow uh, with your telephone museum and work together somehow. Exactly. And the purpose of this is we have a memory of the days when these were in production. And we want that, that excitement to be rekindled of the generation that were not born when this technology was out. Well, I want to thank you for coming down and visiting our museum. We're anxious to come up and see yours, and we're anxious to do some joint projects. Uh, you know, there's a lot of interest in this uh, from the standpoint of the consumer and the folks that like to see it, but uh, museums are a tough business, especially in today's economy. We're going to make this work. The idea is to get it out there to the public through media, through blogs, through, um, through the internet and websites, and when people see what's available, uh, we hope it'll generate the traffic. Well, thank you very much, Curtis. Thank we you, David. That. And all your years of work that, uh, that bled over into the community college system and into industry. Well, I appreciate that. Like I said, I'm 75. I only have 25 years left, so i got to get busy. You and me, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs>